Hello, I'm Aaron Tierney. I'm founder of Tierney Arms Company, and I'd like to introduce you to the AMP stock, the Aluminum Modular Precision Rifle Stock. The AMP stock is something completely different. It's a rifle stock, and it was designed from the get-go to have the ergonomics and the simplicity, the durability of a rifle stock, but it's made out of aluminum. Aluminum is one of the best materials to make a rifle stock out of. It's lightweight, it's durable, it allows you to put a lot of these features on here that you see on chassis type rifles such as um, the adjustable cheek piece, the length of pull, um, the M-lock slots, a lot of these features that come really handy whatever type of shooting that you're doing um, but it has the feel and the traditional look of a nice rifle stock. It's made out of really high-end materials. We have G10 grips, which you see on a lot of nice high-end knives. This stuff is light, but it's extremely durable. It doesn't absorb heat like the aluminum does, so when you're out in the field it's, and it's really cold or it's really hot, you still have a nice place to put your hand or your cheek and not burn yourself or have your skin freeze to the aluminum. Um, a lot of thought was put into every aspect of this stock uh, from the ergonomics to the materials to the adaptability of different components uh, it is inlet for a different type of trigger guard you can use an M5 uh, which Badger Ordnance makes uh, there's a lot of other companies making these um, and you can actually have a barricade stop in your trigger guard you can have a rounded trigger guard, you can have an angled trigger guard, whatever suits your style. Even the latches, you can have a, a standard latch like this, you can have an extended latch like this, you can have a latch where it's inside the trigger guard so you can detach your magazine. You could even have a hinged floor plate, like a, a BDL type of hinged floor plate, um, all with one stock. With other types of chassis and, and stocks, uh, you're stuck with the inlet that they give you so if it's for a magazine you have to run that particular type of magazine whatever that company built into the stock but with this you can choose a different trigger guard and you can put whatever magazine you so wish to use as long as you have a trigger guard that's compatible with that magazine another thing are these M-lock slots that you see in the forend here they allow you to attach different uh, components like uh, these sling swivel stud adapters. Uh, you can mount those to the front. You can also mount them to the buttstock as well. And what that will allow you to do is run your sling on the side of your rifle so that it sits flat against your back. You can also run Picatinny rail sections. These Picatinny rail sections will allow you to mount bipods, um, optics, lights, um, range finders, uh, virtually anything that's out there will mount to this particular rifle stock uh, but you don't have to sacrifice anything because it gives you the ergonomics and it gives you the feel <clears throat> of a traditional rifle stock the forend is nice and slim if you want or you can attach these G10 scales to the side and it'll give you a wide flat forend for bench rest type shooting or varmint shooting off of a improvised rest it will give you a nice solid shooting position and the way the forend is, is angled upward it allows you to make small elevation adjustments simply by sliding the rifle forward or backward on your front rest the buttstock has a nice flat section here that gives you plenty of room to ride on the bag for recoil so it's not going to knock you off of your shot. You're going to be able to see and call your own shots. The modular design allows each individual component to be machined at the optimum angle. Um, other, uh, like a composite type rifle stock for the, the recoil lug, it's machined in from the top and you have a big wide slot. Um, the same with other aluminum type of stocks or even stocks with uh, aluminum bedding blocks whereas this is machined from the front and it is inlet as if your action is inlet into the top here 
the recoil lug is inlet into the front of the action block so you have a perfect fit to match your recoil lug uh, there's no bedding and when we say there's no bedding there's there's no bedding there are a lot of companies out there that say no bedding but if you get your stock and you read the fine print they tell you they recommend putting some sort of skim coat on there um, this does not require that um, you simply tell us what kind of recoil lug you're using this is a pacific tool and gauge um, factory recoil lugs big aftermarket oversized recoil lugs we will inlet the stock to match the recoil lug of your rifle and we will inlet the action block to match your action. Um, this particular one is for a Remington 700 short action. Um, it is inlet with a 3D tool path. Um, so it's machining on all these different axes to remove material and make it have a basically one-to-one -one contact with your action. So when you set your action in here, all this surface area, every bit of metal is touching, uh, giving you a really stable platform giving you something that your action isn't going to, to warp when you cinch down the screws. Another thing that is specific to the action block and specific to the action that you're using is the ejection port cutout and the cutout for the bolt knob. The ejection port cutout is also 3D machined to match the ejection port of your particular action. Again, this is a Remington 700 short action. I also have a uh, Stiller Predator action over here with a different type of ejection port and it's machined to match. Um, that way there's no interference, your shells are going to eject, reliability is optimized and also the same thing with the bolt knob itself. Since we're in there and we're doing all of this uh, high speed 3D machining, why not go all out and do the recess for the bolt knob? Uh, you have a nice generous relief around there, but it's not blown out like you see on some other rifle stocks uh, Where they just cut uh, just a big utilitarian slot in there to fit all bolts This is a custom stock at an affordable price and it gives you advantages uh, of the ergonomics That you can actually all your fire controls are right where they need to be <clears throat> uh, but it also gives you that stable platform for your action to sit in. It completely free floats the barrel. Um, this is actually, you could have a barrel that is one inch, 200 thou, which is a full bowl, straight taper barrel, uh, will fit in this stock without any inlaying. And there's a lot of room around it to allow air to flow through and cool, which is another benefit of these M-Lock slots. Um, there's uh, a flush cup on the bottom that you can mount a traditional sling swivel stud to uh, simply by pushing it in here and you can mount your sling to that and then using the M-Lock slots up front you can mount your sling on the bottom traditional or like we talked about earlier you can mount it to the side and have it sit flat against your back so if you're doing some backcountry type stuff uh, you'll be nice and comfortable the uh, cheek piece is fully adjustable up and down and also side to side so you can adjust this to fit any shooter and you can give yourself a proper cheek weld uh, again uncompromising it uses a, a limb saver air cell recoil pad um, it's wide and it's very soft uh, absorbs a lot of recoil it's lightweight um, and with these adapters that we have on the back here, you can adjust for length of pull very easily. Um, I think I've pretty much touched on everything. Uh, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch and learn about some of the features of our amp stock. If you uh, are interested, subscribe. We're going to be releasing more products as time goes on. And uh, have a nice day.